Hi, this is Brian from Rocky Mountain Music Repair on location. Today we're going to talk to you about how you can take care of your trombone at home in your bathtub. We're going to be using some simple things you have around the house and some supplies that you can get in our care kits available at our shop. The information we're going to cover is on all of our care sheets available for download free on RockyMountainMusicRepair.com. The first thing we want to do is prepare our area. We're going to place an old towel in the bottom of the bathtub. That's to stop all the parts from rattling around while we're working on them. Then we're going to fill the bathtub with lukewarm water. If you can place your hand in it comfortably, that's just fine. We're going to add a little Dawn dish soap and fill up the tub just high enough to cover up the instrument. I'm going to let the bathtub fill and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, looks like that'll be enough water to cover up the trombone. Then I'm going to add a little Dawn dish soap. I tend to add it after the water's in the tub so it doesn't get so sudsy. No need to give your trombone a bubble bath. Mix up the soap a little. And now we're going to disassemble the trombone so it can soak in the soapy water for a little while. First we're going to take the mouthpiece off and just set it in the water. That's easy enough. Then we're going to take the bell section and we're going to remove the main tuning slice from the back and place it in there. Now the bell itself. So if it's sticking up a little bit like that's fine, we can turn it over in a minute. Then we're going to take the inside slide and the outside slide apart from each other and set them in the water. It's very important during this time that you give both parts of your slide enough room in between. You don't want them banging into each other, making little tiny dings and dents, which would make it hard to use the slide later. All right. Now that all of our pieces and parts are in the bathtub, we're going to let them soak for about 30 minutes. We'll be back in just a minute to show you how to scrub them out then. All right, our trombone has been marinating for about 30 minutes or so in the soapy water. So now we're going to do the actual cleaning part of it. All these supplies, once again, are in our cleaning kit, but it's pretty easy. So let's take a look at it. We're going to start with the easiest and smallest part. This is our mouthpiece. This gets all grungy from chocolate chip cookies and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and we're going to scrub it out. We have a special brush that's exactly the right size. We're going to get some soapy water on there, and we're just going to scrub it out. Pretty simple. We can do that. We can take a scrub brush or an old toothbrush if we want to and scrub the outside, or we can just take a washcloth and wipe it down. I'm actually going to put it back in the water for a moment. You'll see why in a second. And then we're just going to take each part and piece of our horn and take it out and clean it. I like to wipe off the inside slides to make sure there's no grease or anything like that that might have been left on there on things like the tuning slide. And then we're going to take our other tool that's in the kit, and that's called a snake. A snake is a flexible brush with two different ends. We're going to get some soapy water on that, and then we're going to run it into the horn. And we're going to scrub them out. The snakes are flexible, so they shouldn't have any trouble going all the way around the curve and coming out the other side to clean it. If you do feel any interference, or it feels like it's getting stuck, don't force the brush. We don't want it to break inside the instrument. You can go in from one end and then the other and scrub it out. As easy as that. These snakes can also be used on all the other tubing on your trombone. We have this part here. We can run it all the way down through the inside and scrub it out. We have the bell itself. You can scrub down inside here, no problem. Where it gets bigger down here with the bell, you could scrub it out with any other kind of brush or wipe it off with a cloth like we had, like we were talking about. But for the most part, there shouldn't be too much really gross stuff this far down in the instrument. This is the most important part. And I need to stress to you that when handling your slides, to be very careful not to bump them against other parts or bump them against the bathtub. Because you do not want any dents or bends or twists or any of that other stuff. Otherwise, your hand slide will not quite feel right. So we take our brush, just like we've done the others. And luckily, it's super long. You can get all the way down to the bottom. And this is where you're probably going to see really fun colors coming out of your horn. Because these get a little gross, a little dirty, because you use them all the time. And we're just going to run the brushes all the way down inside there and back and forth. Then we're going to rinse them out a little bit. You may find that you need to scrub out two or three times before you get all of the stuff out of the horn. So I encourage you to scrub it out a couple times. And when you pour it out and you don't see any more little pieces or little colored things coming out of it, then you're good to go. 
You're going to do the same thing with your inside slide and just run the brushes down and scrub them. Like so. Once again, if you feel like the brush is getting stuck somewhere, don't force it. We don't want the brush to break. We go all the way down. And we should be able to see it come out the other side. There we go. And scrub it back again. Easy as that. Take your washcloth, and especially on your inside slides, wipe them down. Get off any grease, any old oils, and things like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drain the bathtub, and we're going to rinse it all off with clean, clear water. After we rinse it off, take your instrument and place it somewhere safe to dry overnight. I'm going to finish rinsing this instrument, and I'll see you tomorrow morning to put it back together again. All right, here it is the next morning, and we laid our trombone out to dry safely on a towel. Now it's time to put it back together again. We're going to show you how we put together trombones at our shop. The first thing we're going to do is put together the bell section, because it's the easiest part. What we're going to do is we're going to grease up the tuning slide. It's very important to you to know that we have tuning slide grease here, which is very different than what we're going to use on your hand slide. This is much thicker and is just used for the tuning slides. You can take a little on your finger and you're going to apply it to the inside slides. Note I'm not doing very much. If you put too much, it's just going to squeeze out and get all over the place and make a big mess anyway. Apply it on both sides here. And then when I'm putting in tuning slides, I like to do one side by itself. So I'll put the thigh side in, and then move it around a little to smear the grease around to make sure it's fully applied everywhere. Then I'll do the other side by itself. If you want to, you can take a small cloth and wipe off any excess that might squeeze out. And then we're going to put it together. Just like that. Easy as pie. Set the side of the bell, and we're going to move on to the hand slide. Now luckily the trombone doesn't have a thousand little pieces like many other instruments. But we do have the hand slide, which is the most important part of a trombone. So we want to make sure this is as clean as possible of any old residue of any other garbage that could have gotten inside your slide. And the way we're going to do that the most effectively is with a cleaning rod and a cloth. This cloth is just flannel. We buy it by the yard at the fabric store, or you could probably take an old t-shirt and cut a strip about this size too. We're going to prep our cleaning rod by taking a corner of the cloth and putting it through the eyelet on the end. Then we're going to roll the cloth around once or twice. Depending on the size of the tube for your trombone, you may have to do this more or less. Then we're going to take the whole cloth and put it over the end of the rod. This will stop the hard metal part from coming in contact with anything inside your trombone risking scratching or damage. Then I take the rod and I just give it a little twist. Just like that. Not twisting it up too hard, but just kind of once again covering up the metal so we're not having metal rubbing on metal. Then we're going to take our inside slide and we're going to run this cloth down the inside. This is going to take up any other residue that might still be left inside the instrument. If you find you put you wrap it around too much, that's not a problem at all. Unwind just a little bit and then go over the top a little sooner. You'll find the right size after one or two tries. Just like that. When you're running the clean rod in there, it should be snug, but shouldn't be so hard that you're pushing really hard. You don't want to risk bending or scratching the inside of the tube. And we're going to run it in once or twice on this side, pull it out, and once or twice on this side. And I'm going to show you, even though we just did a cleaning on this trombone, there's still going to be a little stuff on the end. I could do this a hundred times and still have a little bit left on the end there. If you're pulling out a lot of stuff when you're doing this part of it, that might be a sign you should send me your trombone to get professionally cleaned. Once we've swabbed it out a couple times, now it's time to put it back together again. There are many, many different ways that you can lubricate your hand slide. There are oils, there are greases, there are creams. In this video, we're not going to talk about that because every trombone player has their own special way that they like to do it. In future videos, we'll talk about the appropriate way to apply different types of lubrication to your hand slide. But for us, we're basically done now. The hand slide is in, it's moving nice, and we can lubricate it for further use. If at this point your hand slide feels scratchy or doesn't move very easily, once again, that should be when you bring it into your shop. Lastly, we're going to try to make our trombone pretty. 
If you have a lacquer finish, anything that looks yellow like this, we simply use Pledge. That's right, just the Pledge you buy at the grocery store. And we're just going to spray a little on the instrument, and then wipe it down with a soft cloth or paper towel. That will take off fingerprints, any watermarks that might have been left over from water that had dried on your horn, and will make it look pretty. If you have a silver instrument, you want to get a silver polish cloth to take off fingerprints and polish the silver with it. Alright, now is the most important and most fun part. We're going to play test our trombone. So we're going to put it together and we're going to see how it sounds. And if we did everything right, we should be fine. I have full confidence though. Trombones are pretty easy to put together. <laughs> to me. You should be cleaning your trombone every two to three months, depending on how much you play. And just like brushing and flossing, you can do it all you want on your own, but eventually you have to go to the dentist. We recommend a professional cleaning at a repair shop every year to year and a half. Thank you so much. Hope this helped you with your trombone. If you have any other questions, you can email us or go to our website, rockymountainmusicrepair.com, and we can answer any questions you might have.